With your CIG TV News update, I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us this Friday evening. The 2017 National Education Conference was held on Friday morning at the Clifton Hunter High School in Frank Sound. As Minister of Education, the Honorable Tara Rivers explained, the first conference focused on inclusion for students with special needs and providing educators with the tools and resources needed to help those students more. She further explained the theme for this year. This year, the theme is good teaching um, myths versus realities. And it's really um, looking at giving them the additional skills, tools to understand what good teaching is and breaking down some of the myths and, and focusing on, on the realities of what um, that entails. The focus this year really has um, a particular view and looking at improving and strengthening numeracy. So we've had a number of literacy interventions which we started in the last year or two. The response uh, to intervention framework which looks at making sure that all of our year one and year two students have access to targeted literacy support and interventions, ensuring that they get the foundation that is so critical for them to be successful in their future academic career. There's also now, as I said, a move towards strengthening and focusing on numeracy interventions and making sure that children um, are understanding and grasping the concepts, uh, making mathematics real and practical and relatable to everyday life. And so there is a number of specialists who have been brought down to help facilitate the sessions at today's conference. Um, who, they, they are international numerous specialists. And we've partnered with the Cayman Islands Institute of Professional Accountants, who have very much supported this conference by sponsoring their participation. Uh, we had, obviously, a keynote speaker of um, one of our very own here, Caymanians, who went through the public school system and has now risen to the ranks of partner at one of the big international accountancy firms and so it was important for us to demonstrate and to remind the teachers how critically important they are in the lives of all of us in our future success um, whatever that may be and so I think that uh, obviously his his keynote address was very inspirational because it really connected to the role that teachers played in his life and I certainly can attest that you know the role that teachers play and played in my life is really part and parcel why I'm here today and so we just want to celebrate the achievements of all of our academic, um, our, our educators, but we also want to continue to provide them with the tools to be as effective as they can in helping our children achieve the highest potential that they can. And as I said in my delivery, in doing so, they will continue to help build a nation and build a country one child at a time. The professional development event attracted hundreds of educators from across the Cayman Islands. The conference takes place every two years. Chief Justice the Honorable Anthony Smelly and judges of the Grand Court welcomed the Right Honorable the Lord Thomas to present a lecture on Thursday evening. The topic was Given Business What It Wants, a well-run court for commercial and business disputes. Those in attendance also had the opportunity to ask questions of Lord Thomas and get answers. Lord Thomas has a distinguished career, including being appointed as Queen's Counsel in 1984 in England and Wales and serving as President of the European Network of Councils for the Judiciary. Well, in celebration of World Kidney Day, the Health Services Authority will be holding free screenings for blood pressure, glucose and cholesterol. That's all happening next week, March the 9th, from 7.30 in the morning to 12 noon. And it's all taking place in the Georgetown's Hospital Atrium. All members of the public are invited. Cele uh, celebrated every year on the second Thursday of March, the global campaign that aims to increase awareness of the importance of our kidneys to our health and reduce the impact of kidney disease and its associated problems worldwide. I encourage everyone, uh, says Minister of Health and Premier the Honorable Alda McLaughlin, uh, not to only lead a healthy lifestyle and to reduce the risk of development kidney disease, but also to take advantage of these free screenings to help identify problems at an early stage. Well, if you missed today's news update, uh, you can always get the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush thanking you for joining us this week, hoping you'll do the same again next week. But until then, have a safe and wonderful weekend, and bye-bye for now.